What's up, y'all? It's me, Torian Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Like, dislike, share, subscribe, comment, whatever you feel the need to do. Thank you for coming through to listen. I appreciate your time. My ear is ringing, so y'all know I'm about to check the energy. You hear me shuffling? How y'all doing? Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged, the G said. I got somebody thinking about moving down south. Somebody may be wanting to leave the south. Take it how it resonates. Um, you said, shoot. Most I didn't make this vast universe, all these galaxies, for me to be staying put in one place. Somebody thinking of a moving. That's what the Jesus says. You thinking of moving. Somebody want to leave where they at. This Southern Living, though, it came out reverse. I feel as though somebody not guarded about um, which direction they want to go. Somebody is letting spirit guide them. They drop their guard, they surrender. I'm talking to somebody who read tarot. That's what the G said. I'm talking to somebody who read tarot. Stay encouraged, though. The G said you almost at the finish line. It's not the end of the world. The energy I'm feeling is a correction, a restructure, a restructuring of guidelines to live by in this matrix. I feel like somebody's trying to get away. They want to start somewhere new. The energies you surrounded around may be deceptive. Yeah. Um, and you know what? Folk ain't really feeling your vision. They ain't feeling your religion. You read tarot. Um, this your new approach. Recognizing, analyzing, and realizing that old ways don't open new doors. Um, the G say stay goal-oriented, too. I feel it. They say stay goal-oriented. Everything attainable. You, you've you risen above a lot. I feel as though you, whoever this message is intended for, you have had some hard times. Hard times have had you as well. Not only are you able to tap in, um, although you know it is unfortunate that we, you know, our future be unknown as high priestess, you know. I'm, I'm definitely talking to, to a high priestess. I'm talking to a pope. I'm talking to somebody who can hear multi-dimensional messages. Yes, the G said in... It's, it's been in you since your childhood, since since throwback stages, the G said. You were scared to talk about it. Yeah, they said you was you were scared to talk about it. A little scared of how people was going to view you. The G said you were a peculiar child. You took a vacation from it. Uh, that's like, like me, like my path. You hear me? I, I closed the veil. So we we got a similar walk. I closed my veil as well. That's what the G said. You closed your veil because it was something that you want, didn't want to deal with. The G said it's, it's, it's a part of your DNA too. I see family. 
I see family. And I also see family trying to end it. I see that. I see family trying to end it. Because they, they saw it in you from birth. They didn't like it. They tried to curve that enthusiasm. And, you know, they had kind of got you out of what I'm feeling. Tanner. What is Tanner? What I'm feeling is um, somebody used to see shadows as a child. Somebody was able to see ghosts. They heard them. You know, you were able to tap into multi-dimensions. You could hear them. You could see them. And you you would tell um your parents, you know, maybe your, your kinfolk, your cousins, your grandparents, you know, maybe your best friend, especially, you know, like elementary stages, the Jesus saying, elementary stages like that, or maybe even kindergarten or preschool, you would talk about it, and you wouldn't want to sleep in your room, the Jesus said. You wouldn't want to sleep in your room by yourself. And if so, the door had to be open. They would close the door. They said, I'm giving you clues. So they they really were in agreement with these abilities, these special abilities that you had. They thought as though you were maybe um, suffering from some mental health issues. And if not that, that you were acting out, or maybe it was something on television that you watched the G said. Um, somebody moving because they feel as though they family. Well, you it's up in the air. You on the fence about whether or not you want to travel, do some southern living, or you may be already in the south, but you most definitely want to move. It's it's. It's the closest that's to you. It's the closest that's to you. I got some earth energy out here. And I got, yeah, it's your family. Um, it's your family. Possibly some fire energy. Possibly. Possibly some fire energy. But I s- I see you wanting to be happy, and I don't see you happy where you are. But the G said, where you are is where you're supposed to be. But I feel as though your G's and your ancestors are in the background orchestrating something good for you. Because you are dealing with some energies, the G said, that are for knocking heads. But you still been holding your head high. They said, that's right, chin up. Don't let them see you sweat because they love to see you sweat. It felt like some very deceptive energy with um, with family and those that's closest to you. Sorry, you're going through that. Yeah. Yeah, those that's closest to you is most definitely your family, you know. Um, that's a Leo involved. It's a Leo involved. Um, this person is from your childhood. This person from your childhood. This person may be um, a religious leader. They don't really want to talk to you, right? Or you probably don't really want to talk to them. I'm talking to somebody who's very sensitive now. Their third eye is very sensitive. They're, they're spiritually gifted and guided. You can see. You've been trusted, tried, and proved through divination. But your family, I feel as though instead of it being a gift for Most High, they're saying that you're of the occult fortune telling. I'm talking to somebody who has, and I apologize for this, how I put it, but Bible thumpers, that's what the G said. I'm talking to somebody who has close ties, family. Yeah, some family, a possible Leo coming in as the head in charge. This person is connected through your childhood, though. Throwback series. Y'all don't really had that much communication, right? But I feel as though you're, you, you, you're such a beautiful soul. You are such a beautiful soul. So gifted. Um, your light is undeniable. 
and this person has a cloak on. This cur this curse. Mmm. Ten ten on the clock. I said this I said curse. This person has a cloak on. It's some generational family curses going on, y'all. I feel as though whoever I'm talking to, you try to keep up some communication. Um, you've been walked on, though. You've been walked on. And instead of you looking for nub in all the wrong places, you do. Somebody surrendered to most high. Somebody was made to go in hermit mode. Say, uh, uh, okay, I need a new approach to life. I need a new approach to your family. I feel as though your family was the closest to you and they was the ones who hurt you the most. Yeah. I see some air energy. I see Libra. You may have soul ties with this Libra as well. Mm-hmm. May have soul ties with this Libra as well. The G said you need to peer through any lens about a Libra in your family. Confront this energy as well, because this energy is some air energy trying to bring you grief. So I got Leo and I got Libra. They both thinking about you missing you too. You done kind of humbled yourself. Um, you know some shit, though, right? But out of respect, you ain't brought it to the surface. That's your one in the chamber. That's what you're going to be able to rely on. And this and this Libra, this Libra energy, they relying on you. They relying on you. I feel as though there's... Ooh, there's a lot of dissension. It is. And this, the G's not liking it. They're not liking it. And, and there's a lot of people not liking your sixth sense, neither. That old school knowledge that was handed from above. You're very wise, the G said. I'm honored that I got tarot readers um, flying through my channel. I don't even know if you are subscribed, king or queen. But thank you for sliding through Turian Goddess Tarot. Thank you. Um, you have, you, you had to take some steps back and you're dealing with these energies, these family members, these karmic family members in a different way. Very family oriented, but not really too much anymore. Somebody going to try to, um... Take you about this humble, gentle, loving, and kind nature. The G's want you to pay attention. They want you to pay attention to a water energy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. There's going to be something that's going to... It's going to be a, a big old gust of fucking bullshit, the G said. It may have a, a Libra energy concerning it. I know it's about to bring a big-ass change, though. <clears throat> I feel as though this this water energy, you need to pay attention to this water energy. And the G says you better act like you connected in more ways than one. Stay prayed up. You ask for most high's help and, and you acting like you want to step back in your own way when you're about to have blessings raining down. They said, mm-mm, nope. Something is going to take place on social media this fall. It's going to be a, 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 a good change about your vision, your platform. You have a platform on social media. Um, Flexbook, I call it Facebook Flexbook. IG, um, here on YouTube, somewhere on social media. But this fall, it's going to be... Whatever message that you bring, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tear the roof off the motherfucker. That's what the G said. It's going to tear the roof off the motherfucker because you're going to say some shit most definitely though. Nobody's supposed to know. And it's all bets off. 
that's what G said. It's all bets off. Those who have, <laughs> those who've been talking shit about you, talking about the occult, they gonna shut up. Your G's about to shut their lips. Yeah, your G's about to shut their lips. And they about to get behind you. That's what they said. Because I feel like these energies, especially this water energy, right? Been trying to halt some shit. It's, 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 it's people who you need to pay attention to. These, this air energy, Libra. I feel as though they respect you, though. You bagging them up. Um, I don't feel as though they're looking at you as reliable, though. But um, you supporting them. They watch you. There's somebody in your family. They watch you. Um, they just don't know how you do it. But they feel as though they're blessed as well. Something popping off this fall, right? Incoming, the G said. Incoming. I got some fire energy coming through. I got some fire energy coming through. Leo, Aries, and Sag. I got somebody who listens to Tarot on a regular. The G said this fire energy got great intentions for you. You may have just um, somebody estranged from a um, water sign. Yeah, a water sign and an earth sign and an air sign are estranged from one another. I feel as though this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Got some not so good news, and it was unexpected. That made them um, sever some ties. I don't feel as though they have completely removed themselves because they've been blindsided by some um, some some tricky energy. It's like some magician energy. Let me see. They've been blindsided by some tricky energy. Like somebody rolling the dice and praying against them, you know? Praying against them and having them in the wrong energy so they can make grave decisions about major life choices. Jesus wants you to stay encouraged. I feel as though somebody don't know if they want to move. Pray on it. Pray on it. The G said, go listen to your messages. There's some in there for you too. It's a collective reading. You're a part of your collective. Hey, I need to do the same thing sometimes. I'm honored. Um, so, I feel like I feel like these guys they ain't gone. Family members of yours feel as though you running out of time, but it's them who running out of time because you've been bringing some raw dog reality, right? You've been bringing some raw dog reality with the help of your ancestors, your G's, um, your family didn't turn their back on you. The G said they 
They feel like you defile, like you you pray to somebody else when the G said they didn't hurt you. So they listen. They pay attention to you. You usher in white light. You pray to God. You pray to Most High. They know this. They just don't like what you practice and how you keep negative energy at bay and how they are a part of, part of that negative energy. Um, the G said keep studying. They said keep studying. Um, there would be no judgment on you. It won't because you about to bring the pain. You about to confirm and affirm and you still gonna be connected. You've been connected from day one. The G said since you came out and slid through to this matrix from your mom's womb. But your family ain't like it. It's a man. It's a man too. Um, this man, this might be that leader. That leader of the family, right? He might be looked at as a patriarch. He gives spiritual guidance. I see a young lady. Two. Two young ladies. One may be in school. Well, both of them in school, but they're different ages. Um, yeah, they they different ages. Maybe like a generation apart. Um, somebody in school. Maybe school age. They trying to get away from somebody, right? Somebody's this feminine energy. Somebody's young and they don't feel like they in their thirties or nothing like that. They may be creeping up on it, maybe, you know. But they dealing with some domestic violence issues. The G said somebody they broke up with. They scared to talk. Yeah, you know, they scared to talk to um, cause they don't want to hear, they don't want to hear that, um, they was dealing back with them cause they were supposed to have broke up with them, that's what the G's did. They were supposed to have broke up with them, but they, they started back dealing with them. They may have, this might be somebody's, um, daughter who has a child with somebody, mm-hmm. They got a child with somebody, this is their child's father. They were supposed to have quit dealing with them, y'all. Um, but they didn't. Low down, dirty energy. Low down, dirty energy. This energy feels like it ain't got the good sense that Most High gave them. This person has not moved away from them. And... They coming in as foul. They're coming in as very controlling. I feel as though they done put their hands on this young woman, y'all. I do. Y'all check y'all little cousins, little sisters, y'all daughters. Y'all your younger friends. Hey, y'all check them. Because they dealing with somebody who... They need to release the G said. They need to release them. They blocking their blessings. They might be stealing from them too. I see I see bank info. I see bank info and I see this person. It's always something with the two of them. This person think it's though they hot shit, the G said. Mm-hmm. This person think it's though they hot shit. Hostile. Hostile. Yeah, somebody go check on their people. This is stop. 